Welcome to the Hank Cisco Show, ladies and gentlemen. Don't touch that dial now. This show is all about boxing, okay? <laughs> and I like musicals, and uh, but this this show's right down my alley. Uh, I, I, you know, so uh, being a former professional boxer, referee, and all, so uh, 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 and this show is going to be good. And it's going to be November. It's, uh, it's, it opens on what? November the fifth. November the fifth. Right? Mm -hmm. And yep. it's going to run through the twenty eighth of November. November. Of right? November. Right. And then Thanksgiving. Friday, Saturday. 8 o'clock show. Yep. And then Sunday matinee 2. Okay? That's right. Now. And the show's called and, and Malumbi's let me tell you, Million. Right. Yeah, this, uh, and, and the name of the show. What's the name of that show? Malumbi's Million. I can't Malone. I thought it was an Italian name. <laughs> what is this? Malone. Who's Malumbi? Malumbi was a, uh, a gentleman from Shelby, Montana. Uh, who organized a fight between Jack Dempsey and Tommy Gibbons oh. back in 1923. So okay. he wasn't a man from the world of boxing. He was a, he was a veteran of World War One. Who's a manager? Uh, well, no, actually, he was just a promoter. He a wasn't promoter. even a manager. So he, he sort of uh, put well, the now they're, together. Well, now they promote her like Don King and all, right? The promoter and the exactly. right, right along and everything, those lines, you know, right. So, uh, so uh, all right, now. Tell me something about you. You're in, you're in the show, right? That's right. You don't have to pay to get in, right? No. no, I don't know. No. Oh, okay, all right, that, 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 that clears that. Now, your name is, and I'll announce it, in this corner, weighing 155 pounds, <laughs> wearing a white shirt. Uh, Luke Moyer. Luke Moyer. Okay, now, Luke, who do you play in the show? I play a sports writer by the name of Damon Runyon. David, oh, great, great writer. Right, yeah, right. he wrote for Robert the... School. He the, was always sitting ringside, you know. He right? was, exactly. Right, and then, then you're uh, Ray Saracini. That's right. That name is pretty famous in Norristown. The Indeed. District Justice and all, nice, mm -hmm. nice guys, good people. All right, and, uh, and you play... Doc Kearns, who and, was uh, Jack Dempsey's manager. Yeah, he was a wheel and dealer. Yeah, kind of an unsavory type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, <laughs> the show, this, that's good about this show. It's going to really come out... Uh, about the, the personalities, okay? Now, uh, tell me something about yourself. Now, you, you come into Lawrence Town. Uh, where are you from? Uh, I grew up in Harleysville. Uh, Harleysville, so I'm kind of a local up there with guy. the cows and that's you know, right, that's right, horses with the and cows, you know. right? And so, uh, you know, so I'm kind of a local guy. Uh, I've been around. This is the second show I've done with uh, Iron Age Theater. At what the was the other one you did? Uh, the Rear Column, which was last season. Oh, yeah, that's right, 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 right. 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 You were on my show then, right? Uh, yes, I was. Right, right, yes, right. I was. And, uh, All right, now, Rock, what are you going to play? Uh, what, what's the scoop, your man? Well, uh, you mean about Doc? Yeah. Jack Dempsey's manager, um, and he actually uh, ended up bilking Shelby Montana out of about $300,000. Uh. Um, he took about 50% from, uh, from Dempsey, which was actually illegal in most states. Managers oh. were only supposed to take a third. Yeah. So, uh, you know, from a certain point of view, he was up to no good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, this, this whole show, tell me something about the show, the overall show. Uh, what, what's the theme behind it? I know uh, Jack Dempsey uh, uh, was a good fighter. He was a dirty fighter, mm -hmm. you know, and kind of him, they made the uh, rules about the they had to go to a neutral corner. Because most of the times, a guy would go down, and guys on one knee would hit him while they were down. So now they changed and counted him. They, you had to go to neutral corner. Say, right, so. there was that famous fight yeah, with, with right, Tony. Where, right, where, right. Uh, the, long Tunney, the long count. count. The long count. Yeah, he yeah. wouldn't go to neutral corner. Right, right. See? So um, now, this show, what's, it's, there's a lot of wheeling, dealing. Somebody to, I would say. The I lady mean, man. Yeah. Uh, a, a lot of people trying to take a lot of other people for a ride. Yeah. There's no nudity in this, is there? There is not. There is okay. not. Okay. A little bit of um, somebody gets mad and says a couple, no, no. Well, I mean, I think there's, there's some nice conflict in the play. Right, yeah. right. It is, it is a comedy, so it's a little lighter than the last show that we did over at Iron Is there Age. any singing? Uh, no, there's no. I don't think there's, there's no any singing, singing in this one. Well, you come out and sing. So if I hum, I'm doing a show or anything. No. Yeah, why not? <laughs> no. We'll take it. All right. So. Now, I know you, I didn't ask, now you, you're from where? Uh, originally from Bryn Mawr, I now live in Paoli. All right. uh, I've been doing shows with Iron Age for a while now. I did the first show with Iron Age back in 96. What'd you do? Uh, it was a play called uh, The Speed of Darkness. Did I, did I, did you come uh, on a show then? Uh, no. I don't think so. I was on one of your shows earlier when yeah. we did Move for the Misbegotten. Okay. All right, now, let's talk about the individuals, okay? What you know about the, 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 the guy that, no, no before I go to that, how often do you do you, uh, practice? You know, you know. It, it, like I said, I 
I used to get nervous. I went to Rittenhouse Junior High School, and they had a, a play, you know, and I only had one line. I went in and I froze, you know. So uh, I had to say one word, I froze. So how do you remember all these lines without... Luke, what? you want to take that first? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's it, fine. To tell you the truth, so we, re we rehearse five, six times a week. Yeah. And so by the time that we get to the point where we're going to open the show, I, I've never really seen it as a very difficult thing to, to remember lines because you go through them so many times that yeah. it, it sort of right. gets into your and you help memory. each other like right, 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 right. And just like we're having a conversation here, if we had the same conversation every night, you would know what I was going to yeah. say, and then I would know how to respond, you know, and vice versa. So it's, Yeah, well, I was down at one of your rehearsals. I was showing Jack Dempsey how to hit the bag, you know. Yeah, that's See, right. Jack Dempsey was a body puncher. You know, he was no... Uh, like Gene Tunney or uh, like Muhammad Ali, he was jab, boom, boom, slip, slide, you know. With that. He was sort of a boom, like a Rocky Marciano or, or Graziano or, you know, in a boom body. That's, that's the kind of fighter he was. Yeah, so I understand. So you met Jack Dempsey. He came here to yep, Norristown. Yep, yep, Can you yeah, tell, in fact, tell us a little yeah, bit about the, that? Way back, uh, Jack Dempsey was in the Coast Guard and, and uh, Father Larkin, who was pastor of the Station Church up in Trooper Road, and... Uh, so Jack Dempsey was going through a divorce, and um, and so the, the he he became he was the chaplain at the, at the unit where he was at, and uh, so Father Larkin became the custodian or whatever you want to call it, take care of the kids while the divorce was going back and forth. So it became very close. So Father Larkin wanted to do a fundraiser for the church. They were building the church at that time, and uh, Jack Dempsey came. There was a man on the Skipack Pike. I don't know. He's a millionaire guy that had a he uh, I don't know. He, he brought him, he stayed at his house, and we were shooting pool, you know, the night before the, the, the exhibition. So when, next, so when he came, but he did, he said, I don't want to do any decision. Celebrity referees don't like to give decisions because they don't want to sure. get the crowd behind them, you know yeah. what I mean? But this is a, this is a picture here of uh, Jack Dempsey and, uh, uh, and my brother Tony. My brother Tony was a middleweight uh, contender. He fought the three world champions. He's a tough guy, but he didn't have the right manager at the right time. And then at the, um, this one here is with the same in the ring, in the ring up at Visitation Church. Wow. And this is me, Jack Dempsey, my brother Tony, and Tony Madison, my godfather, who was a fighter, a pretty good uh, middleweight fighter, retired, and he helped referee some of the fights. And Red McCarthy, who was a sports editor for Times Earl, he was announced, you see, he has the mic in his hand. Mm -hmm. We're in the middle of the ring, you know. So, uh, so I, when I heard about this Tommy Gibbons and the Jack Dempsey, I say, hey, I want to be part of it, you know. You know so, so, and I want to let you know that, you know, that I met Jack Dempsey, you know, and um, he, was a, he was a tough fighter, you know, tough. But his manager, he bobbed and weaved, you know. And I think the play talks about the, the, that, where's that fight was held in Montana, right? Shelby, yep. yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, okay, let's look at a clip now, okay? Let's look at a clip and we'll see more about it. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> 